Hello and welcome to tutorial number 27. Today I'll be starting a discussion, hopefully I can finish it also in one session, about language plugins, how Community Builder and its add-ons uh, handle localization and translations into other languages. Uh, this might get a little technical and uh, certain points, but I think it's important that we understand the concepts correctly. So I'll try to be as clear as concise as I can, but you might have to re-listen and uh, go through this a second time if needed. Okay, so Community Builder does not follow the Joomla way of localizing. Joomla has these ini files uh, that have uh, a language key and then a translation, localization, and it has a lot of ini files. Uh, that, the, 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 if you look at it technically, uh, there's a performance hit because of this. Uh, Community Builder does not use that. Instead, we use PHP arrays and these are files basically that are loaded and they're in memory so it's a lot quicker to render uh, at least that's my understanding <laughs> so let's look at cb2.0 plugins and we see the very first plugin is called default language english and i can just filter down and see that this is the only language type plugin Okay, now what does that look like in our back end? Let me just grab our tutorial site here, CB Tutorials, and we see under the component, the components there, we have com, com profiler, there's a plugin folder, language folder, and there's this default language final folder, which has four files in it. The admin language, PHP is basically the contains the strings for the backend translations, and the language.php contains the strings from the front end translations. Now, if we actually look at one of these, this is how the language string, the language plugin looks like. There's a a key string, and it's mapped to the localized string. So conceivably, if we change the right part, we're changing what will appear uh, when rendered, either the back end or the front end. Uh, the back end actually looks similarly. Okay. Now, uh, let me take this one step even deeper. Uh, how does how do language strings appear in the actual physical code? And this kind of gives an idea, another reason why, we, why we're using this method instead of following Joomla's method. So if I go to a PHP file for a plugin, the CB privacy plugin, for example, we'll see there are these CBT functions, which basically have a key followed by the initial translation. So let me just go further down. And there are some more of these uh, CBTs here, for example. We see it doesn't even have to have the, the language key. It just has the initial translation. Well, this is much easier to read. I mean, because, uh, and it also it's also a fallback. So if it doesn't find uh, a key in a language translation for this, it'll use this value in the long run. And what we're what we're doing basically is actually I wrote it so <laughs> I, I kind of want to uh, tweet my horn I guess we created an awk script that basically parses all the files and grabs these CBT language strings and constructs the admin and the language the front end PHP files and if there's no language key. Uh, present, like this case, it'll actually generate an initial language key. So that's why 
in our language PHP file, we see this language key. Well, this language key I could pick up. If we see at the end some uh, code here, this is the hash code. And this means that this string was basically automatically generated by the awk script. This is just a language key. The actual translation is here. Okay, enough at this point. Let me just go back to the folder layout. Now, conceivably, somebody could go in here, edit these files, the admin and the language admin, and actually change the default language. Just type things here. That's the wrong way of doing things, because if this happens, this specific file, the default language folder, and these files will be overwritten when we upgrade Community Builder the next time around. So this is not the correct way of creating your own localized uh, English language file or your Chinese or Greek or Swedish language file. Okay, what, what's the correct way of doing this? Uh, well, there are a couple of resources on Joomlapolis that I'm just going to pull over. Okay, here we go. This is the website. If we go to downloads, languages, we'll go to this page. And this page basically has all the resource links needed to help you. So uh, the first thing that you can do actually is visit the Forge area here and click on the wiki. And it basically gives you instructions on how to create your own language plugin. You basically grab the English one, the latest English one, which we'll see what it looks like, and you just follow these steps to translate and create your own. Uh, that's kind of selfish to do that on your own. The best way, best thing to do is actually use this resource here, the Community Builder Transifex area. You basically go to Community Builder. Let me just go here to show you what it looks like. So if you create a login on Transifex and log in, then you can go to the Jimlopolis area here, and you'll see all our projects. You can basically look at the Community Builder project, and you see there are lots of languages here. Some are 100%, some are not. What you should really do is find your language. And for example, let's say it's Dutch. Go to the Dutch language here. You'll see, uh, you should be able to join. You should get a, a join button somewhere here if you're not, if you haven't joined. Once you join, you can basically start translating online. So I can just go here, language PHP, and say translate now. And you can see all the untranslated strings, for example, one at a time. And you can help out type your translation here. One at a time. That's it. This way, uh, the translation stays online. And the actual translation manager will be able to uh, uh, to incorporate your suggestions in the final product. How do you find uh, the who's managing, who's the coordinator? You basically go to your project and let's say it's the Russian area and you would see here you would look at the members. You probably don't see manage members if you're not a coordinator but you'd be able to see all the members here and you'll see that the coordinator here is Alex Smirnov. You can send him a message, just click here. You will go to his profile and you can just send him a message. Say whatever. Hi Alex, I want to join your project. Please accept me or something like that. Now, uh, uh, we have developed a script basically that grabs all the 100% translated projects and automatically creates the 
community builder plugin for that language. Let me just show you what this looks like here. Uh, okay, for example, this is the English uh, plugin. The admin has there's an admin file, a language file, and there's a set a folder called CB plugins that basically grabs all the CB plugin files and puts them in here. So uh, if you just have community builder by itself, you can ignore these, but you don't really lose anything. They're here when you install one of the extra add-ons, the translation will be picked up from here. Okay, I'm going to stop at this point uh, because I think there's enough information <laughs> for people to really get uh, confused. Uh, I'm going to be following the comments and discussion on this video. So uh, if there are any questions, I'll be answering them there. I'll also post URLs to the various project areas that I mentioned in the video so you don't have to... Uh, try to identify the URLs from what I've shown. And I'll do a follow-up language session uh, maybe later this week or next week based on the questions that have been posted. Thanks for listening. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.